Good evening, YouTube. Thought I'd make a video. Um, it hasn't been 24 hours, but hey, my wife just left for work, and I. It's a quiet evening here in West Michigan, and I'm. Um, I don't know. It's like I I, ha I could listen to music, but. I find as I get older, I like silence. I like just hearing the crickets sitting in the dark with the candle burning. I have this candle burning. And uh, kind of just chilling. It is uh, September the 24th. It's a Tuesday night, it's 7.33, not 7.33, it's 7.53 at night here in Holland, Michigan, a little town by Lake Michigan. And I thought what I would do before this week comes to a close, I told my wife before she left for work that next Tuesday my wife will be gone for a week. And I'll be here all by myself. <laughs> and uh, like my wife, we were talking to tonight. My wife was getting ready to go to work. And somehow high school came up. I graduated from high school in 1970. I went to John F. Kennedy High, high School in Richmond, California. And I graduated in 1970. And if I was to go to a high school reunion, it would be my 50th high school reunion. But I was telling my wife that when I was in high school, I didn't have any friends. I had girlfriends, but I had no friends. And I told my wife, the only true friend I've ever really had has been my wife. Uh, I'm not good at maintaining friendships. They ten I, I tend to, I don't know, I'm just kind of a loner, I suppose. But this is what I, I just want to show you the, the rest of the thrift store books I got. Um, I showed you the books I got in the mail. I did get another book in the mail today. I like biographies. If I get a novel by a writer... I like to get a biography to go along with the novels. And this is a biography of Sylvia Townsend Warner by Claire Hartman. And I got this, it's an old beat up paperback used because I recently bought two novels by her from the New York, New York, uh, how's it go? New York Review Books. And I got these. One I got on sale for seven dollars, and this I was like a pre-order. This is I showed you this one before, "Corner That Held Them" by Sylvia Townsend Warner. This was first published. She lived from 1893 to seven, 1978. Was a poet, short story writer, and a novelist, as well as an authority on English early English music and devoted member of the Communist Party. Her many books include Mr. Fortune, Lolly Willows, Summer Will Show, Kingdoms of Elfin. And so, yeah, I got these two. This is um, Mr. Fortune, Sylvia Townsend Warner. So I got these to go with the biography. Because I like biographies. So I got this in the mail today. As far as what I read, well, I read this morning uh, Participation in Christ. I've shown that book. And then I read. Oh, that's right. Before, well, I read Against Memoir by Michelle T. this afternoon. I read last night, late into the night. Fellow Passengers, a novel in Portraits by Louis Ackenkloss. 
And these are the books I got at the thrift store yesterday. I went to... Well, this... I got... I don't know if I showed this one. This is Zorba the Greek by Nicholas Ken... Konkiskas? I can't pronounce it. A Greek writer. Uh, I have other novels by him in our library. But I didn't have this one, and it came into the book nook when I was there Monday. Zorba the Greek, very famous film by Zorba the Greek. So I got that. And then I also picked up the book nook Monday. This, the archaeological, the archaeological of a home, an epic on the thousand square feet of the Lower East Side by Catherine Greener. The reason why I picked this up, I looked through it at the book nook. It's kind of like a little history of a neighborhood in New York City and starting in the 1850s about the different families who lived in this building. I don't know, it's like a little mini biography of a Tenement building in New York City, so I got that. And then I picked up at Action House thrift store yesterday. I had to go out to get coffee beans, and I picked up this little book, The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore. Uh, I was looking at this this evening, and I really didn't want to get into it, but like I said, I don't get it sidetracked. I just picked up at the, a while back at the book nook Jill Lepore's other book, Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin, who was the sister of Benjamin Franklin. And both her books look really well researched. They look really fascinating. I just, just want to dig into them, but like I said, I got so much that I'm reading that um, but I was really pleased to get this, The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore. Uh, Wonder Woman created in 1941 on the brink of the World War II is the most popular female superhero of all time. Aside from Superman and Batman, she has lasted the longest and commanded the most vast and wildly passionate following. Like every other superhero, Wonder Woman has a secret identity. Unlike others, she also has a secret history. In Jill Lepore's riveting work of historical detection, Wonder Woman's story provides the missing link in the history of the struggle of women's rights, a chain of events that begins with the women's suffrage campaigns of the early 1900s and ends with the troubled place of feminism a century later. This edition includes a new afterword with fresh revelations based on never-before-seen letters and photographs from the Marston's family papers. So, yeah, it has all kinds of, like, early comic strips of Wonder Woman in there. It looks really fascinating. I mean, I've never been... I remember watching Wonder Woman on TV a while back, a couple of years ago, and there's been movies and... TV shows and comic books, and but this looks really interesting. And then I picked up at the Action House thrift store, Mr. Wilson's Cabinet of Wonders, pronged ants, horned humans, mice on toast, and other marvels of Jurassic technology by Lawrence Wischauer, finalist, National Book Quick's Circle Award for Nonfiction, Pulitzer Prize for general nonfiction. I like books on natural history, so I picked that up. It's only 60 cents. Then I picked up Pinocchio, Pinocchio by Carlo Colidi, you know, an Italian writer. This is like fantasy based on the Disney character Pinocchio. I got this primarily because it's a New York Review books. And I collect these, so I got it. And then I picked up this novel by a Canadian writer I never heard of, Jill Urquhart, Ur 
away a novel uh, on a small island off the northern Irish coast in the mid-century, a sailor is washed ashore and dies in the arms of Mary, whose visions of this demon lover inhabit the most intimate reaches of her heart and mind until her own death. Four generations later in Canada, where Mary first brought her children to escape the Pinedo, Pinedo, Pinedo phantom of the 19, 1840s, her great-granddaughter Esther tries to make sense of Mary's life and obscurities surrounding her family's history. Seductive, powerful, and humorous, Away is an entrancing saga of world of love lost in betrayal through Esther's recollections. Rec 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 so it sounded really interesting. It was had a good review from the Washington Post, Book World, Timothy Finley, I collect his novels. So, I got this. So now I can put these down on the lower level. And, uh, like I said, I read Against Memoirs today. I read Fellowship with Passengers by Atkin Kloss. I also read a couple pages. I've shown this in the past. Light Years. This is a memoir by Chris Rush. I, I read this off and on. I keep it on my table in the living room. And I also read a little bit of... This is by, I showed this, The Light Years, it's a memoir by Chris Rush. I also read today, Amer Americans, Moderns, Bohemian, New York, and the Creation of a New Century by Christine Stansell. I got this out to read on Mac, Max Eastman. I think there's a chapter in here on him. But, so I got this out. I like to read all over the place. and dip in here and there so that's it uh, tomorrow is a Wednesday don't have anything coming in the mail I don't really feel like leaving the house I did go to a local thrift store I, I caught another chipmunk in our garage and I drove a couple blocks down to Bibles to Mexico thrift store to let them loose in the field in the back of the store and then I went into the store and looked around at used books and I didn't see anything really. So I don't know, I really don't feel like leaving the house. I got enough to read, you know, writing in my diary. Tonight I'll listen to the crickets, drinking a glass of wine, celebrating. What am I celebrating? I don't know. So I hope you had a good day. Thank you for the comments. And yeah. Yeah, this book really looks interesting. The Secret History of Wonder Woman by Jill Lepore. This book also looks interesting. Book of Ages, The Life and Opinions of Jane Franklin. They look really well researched and they look really interesting. I could just really get into them. It's the kind of book I'd take if I was to go on a road trip. I take them with me, but I just thought I'd show them to you. i probably keep this up here to look at it, along with Against Memoirs. Like I said, I read Fellowship Passengers, a novel, and Portraits. I read this until 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I laid in bed. I couldn't get to sleep last night. After I made that last video, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I don't know what it was. So I read this late into the night. So I'll sign off and until next time, bye.